Welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to do wind load calculation based upon UBC standard. In the right hand side, you can see a PDF file which is mentioning as Uniform Building Code 1997. This is a code which we are going to use to calculate wind load. In the left hand side, you can see an Excel sheet which is developed to demonstrate about the wind load calculation based upon UBC standard. First input we record is basic wind speed. This is as per the project requirement. So here we can consider as 80 mile per hour. The density of air is 1225 gram per meter cube or 1.225 kg per meter cube. So wind stagnation pressure can be calculated as half of rho that is density of air into Vh square. Vh is a basic wind speed. So we can also refer the table in page number 28. So it is a table 16 F based upon the basic wind speed in mile per hour. You can find here the uh, pressure value QS in pound per square feet 16.4 is for 8 mile per hour so you can see in the excel sheet 16.4 pound per square feet that is now converted into kilo newton per meter square by multiplying 0 0.0479 into that 16.4 pound per square feet so next we need to calculate gust factor for finding the gust factor we need to refer table 16 G which is in the same page generally this gust factor will vary according to the height above ground Height means it is a exposed height to wind. Also there are three categories of structures exposed. It is a exposure B, C and D. For the definition of uh, exposure category we need to refer section 16.16 for that page number 7 to be referred. So here you can see that exposure B has a terrain with buildings, forest or surface irregularities covering at least 20% of the ground level area extending 1 mile that is 1.61 km or more from the site. The exposure C has a terrain that is flat and generally open extending of mile 0 0.81 km or more from the site in any full quadrant. Exposed D represent the most severe exposure in areas with the basic wind speed of 80 miles per hour mile per hour 129 km per hour or greater and has a terrain that is flat and un unobstructed facing large bodies of water over 1 mile 1.61 km or more in width relative to any quadrant of the building site exposure D. So, all these exposure categories definitions are given in section 1616. So now for our calculation purpose we can consider exposure category as D which is a severe one. So this according to this structure height we can select as 20 feet. Here in that Excel sheet, the tab which is showing the tables of code refer is having the backup calculation of 
exposure factor according to that selected exposure category D for height 20 the factor is 1.45 so this is what selected from here using VLOOK so next input is pressure coefficient equation we need to find out from the table 16 H UBC 1997 for that page number 29 to be referred so here you can see there are various pressure coefficient factors according to the structure or part of the structure in this table we can select the chimney tanks and solid towers of square or rectangular for that any direction the pressure coefficient factor c q is 1.4 we can directly take that value here so next one is seismic occupancy category for that we need to refer uh, table 16k of ubc 1997 so for that page number 30 to be referred here you can see there are uh, five categories uh, essential facilities hazardous facilities uh, special occupancy structure standard occupancy categories uh, miscellaneous structures so that group definitions are give, given here according to that wind importance factors also given here as 1.15 1 1.15 1.11 for all other uh, three occupancy structures so here we can select uh, uh, essential facilities that is first occupancy category for that the factor is 1.15 so finally that uh, design wind pressure pd equal to ce into cq into qs into iw so this formula we can find out in section 1620 for that page number 7 to be referred again So here in the right hand side PDF you can see that that equation, that formula here. We already calculated the CE, CQ, QS and IW. So now the design wind pressure PD is 1.85 kN square meter. So this table is a summary for various height. For 20 feet it is 1.45. For height 40 feet, it is 1.62 CE value. Height 60 meter 1.73 and for height 80 feet, it is 1.81. Similar like that wind pressure also is going to change. According to the height, increase in height, the CE uh, exposure factor also get increased. Sorry, guest factor will also get increased. And similarly, this dynamic sorry that the design wind pressure PD also get increased so here 1.85 2.07 2.21 2 2.31 similar like if I am going to increase this to 100 meter this is 2.4 now if it is 120 meter it is 2.46 kilonewton so whenever there is a increase in structure height so this value also get increased so this is a summary so if we want to do a design of a tower or any of the structure which is going in the height beyond this we need to select and find out the wind pressure accordingly so this wind pressure later can be applied over the structure and the forces can be calculated as such so with this we can end this video of wind load calculation based upon UBC 1997 Look description for more related videos. Thank you.